Hi friends, today Mikey and I are going to build a house inside the bed. The essence of today's challenge is that each of us builds three houses and whose houses will be better you decide in the comments. Alright Mikey, you ready to get started? Yes JJ, I think we're gonna make great houses. Good, then we're on. For the first round, I'm going to need white and red wool. First I build the bed itself. surrounding it all with layers of wool. And breaking down all the blocks so that the inside of the bed is empty. I replace the earth blocks with wool. I also arrange all the furniture in the house. Great, the house is ready. Time to check on Mikey's progress. Hey, I'm done building. Check out my house. Hi, your bed looks just like the real thing, but where's the entrance? The secret entrance is right between the wooden legs of the bed. Amazing. Not bad, I like that red chair. It's time for you to appreciate my construction. Sure, let's go. I can't wait to see your house. Your bed looks like a real bed, too. The painting above the bed looks cool. Thanks, Mikey. And let's move on to another round. For this round, I will need wood blocks and wool. First, I stand up the bed frame. Using commands, I fill the remaining space with the missing blocks. Almost done. And on the ceiling I will replace the usual blocks of wool with glass, which is not visible from the outside, but from the inside you can see everything that happens outside. All that's left is to arrange all the furniture.
done. Time to check on Mikey. JJ, you can look at my house. I've been waiting for you for a long time. What are you up to? Is there a secret entrance again? That's right. I thought you'd never figure it out. Time to see what's inside. Wow, there's two rooms, a bedroom and a living room. Nice interior. Thanks. I can't wait to see your construction. Wow, what a huge bed. The inside of the house is very spacious, and I also like the ceiling. You can look up at the stars and clouds. Well, I think we should move on to the next round. In the third round, I'll use the team to put a huge bed in here. That's great! Since I need space inside the bed, I'll use the command. Done. Now it's time to build the framework of the rooms. Now I'll use the commands to build the floor. What else can I put in here? I'll definitely make parkour for Mikey. All right. Moments later. Now it's time to set up the furniture. Done. I also decided to put spikes everywhere to make parkour more fun. Let's go check out Mikey's build. Hey, JJ. Hey, it's a bed on a big platform. That must be the house. Come on inside. It's very modern. I like it. Now let's go to my house. You're in for a surprise. Oh, wow. Let's go. You have to go parkour before you get to the room. Wow, all right. It's always so exciting. Oh, I fell. It's not far enough. You need to be more careful.
Yay, I made it! I like this room, but you have to be careful here, especially in the dark. Good point. Well, I guess we have to say goodbye to our friends and wait for their house ratings in the comments. Thanks for watching, dear friends. Like and subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to click on the bell not to miss new videos. Hi friends, today Mikey and I are going to do the Lava House Battle Build Challenge. The essence of the challenge will be which of us will build the best lava house in a certain period of time, and which of us will win only you decide in comments. So Mikey, are you ready to build your lava house? Yes, JJ, let's get started, but I'm afraid I don't have much experience in building such houses. And besides, a lava house doesn't sound safe at all. But just imagine how cool it would look. So, are you ready for round one? Let's do it! What do you think we need to build a lava house? Lava, of course. Let's get a bucket of lava. Also, to make the house look more spectacular and without unnecessary details, we will take invisible blocks. Barriers. We can find them only in the special mod on the left because these blocks are hidden from us in the usual creature. Now, you and I just build a 3x3 box out of our invisible blocks. Let's make a slightly convex roof and put the blocks so that the lava doesn't spread around. Like this. And, of course, separate the entrance from the lava. And now we just have to pour the lava itself off the roof of the house and wait for it to flow out as the roof and the walls of our house. Let's tweak a little where the lava hasn't flowed in. We'll block it up here. Hmm. We need to make an entrance. I propose to make it out of obsidian, as it is stylistically more suitable for this house. We'll make the entrance arch like this, and finish the obsidian floor like this. This needs to be done carefully so as not to damage the blocks we need. It's done. Now let's just decorate our house from the inside. You don't have to stress about it because this is only the first house. The final touch is left. Let's install the door to our house. Let it be the most common wooden door. The first lava house is ready. Now we can go and see what Mikey has built. Hi, Mikey. Have you finished building your first house yet? Yes, JJ, only I don't think I got it quite right. The lava was spreading around, and I couldn't stop it. It's okay, Mikey. You can always make up for your mistakes in the future. One bed, very minimalist. Come on, JJ. Let's go look at your first build. Hmm, it's not bad. And the lava's not spreading at all. Yeah, I put invisible blocks on the sides of the house for that. Invisible blocks? Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Now let's see the inside of the house. Not bad at all, JJ. I think you win this round. But I'll take my revenge in the next one. It's up to the audience anyway, Mikey. Now I suggest we move on to the next round. Then I'm on my way. For the next round, I suggest changing the size of the house, the shape of the roof, and the design of the inside. To do this, let's build the frame of the house 5x5 five five invisible blocks. Next, make the roof. This time, let it be triangular in shape. Finish it until the end. Now we are going to make barriers for lava flow from the roof. Done. Hmm. Now all that's left is to pour the lava from the end of the roof. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to pour more in the corners. Now that's good. This time, to keep the lava from spreading out on the ground, we're going to make hollows at the bottom. That way, we'll have walls made entirely of lava. Now, we are going to make an entrance. This time, it will be made of magma blocks, but only from the top. Let's get the excess lava out of here. And let's make the floor also out of magma. Done. And the only thing left is to decorate the inside of the house. This time we'll do a little more interesting than the previous one. We'll hang diamond sets on the upright and put iron doors with pressure plates. The second lava house is ready. Now we can go check out what Mikey has built there. 
Hey, Mikey, I see you already finished the second house. Hi, JJ. Yeah, I just finished my second build, and this time I made a lava drop house, and it wasn't because I couldn't make regular walls at all. All right, Mikey, let's go inside and see how you decorated it inside. Wow, what cool furniture. I really like this twin bed, and I especially love that chair. And the floors are the perfect color match. Thanks, JJ. Now let's take a look at your second build. Hmm, very nice, JJ, except you can't surprise anyone with regular lava walls anymore. But you'll appreciate the shape of the roof. It looks like your house is on fire. Let's fix it. Yeah, nice house, JJ. I don't know which one won this round. Then I say we go to the last round. That's when we'll know which one of us has won this construction battle. Then let's do it, and I will win. Unlike the previous houses, this time we won't even use lava. How then can we build a lava house? It's easy. I have a special mod for today's video with static blocks, half blocks, and lava steps. I wonder if Mikey will remember this mod. This time the house will be bigger than all the previous ones and will have a slightly unconventional shape. First as usual, we'll build the frame of the house with cavities for future windows. Now let's build the roof. The roof will be triangular in shape of the letter T. And of course from the steps as a roof. Let's speed up the process of building the roof. Now continue to fill in the walls. For the windows, we will take a suitable orange glass. We'll take these interesting designs as doors. And let's finish laying out the lava floor. Done. It remains to fill the interior space of the house. This time we will take the best furniture. We will also take different design elements. And we'll install a rug. It will give style to the whole room. And of course we'll hang only the best armor on the stands. All that's left is to decorate the surroundings of the house with foliage of the right color. Done. Let's see if Mikey's finished. Hello again, Mikey. Hi, JJ. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Look what I did. And more importantly, look at the blocks I used. Yeah, Mikey. You're really good at this. Kind of reminds me of my house. Come on, let's go inside. Come on, JJ. Don't forget to walk around all sides of the house. Okay, Mikey. Wow, what a couch in the living room. What an interesting division of rooms. The couch again. Hmm, nice curtains. And the bed upstairs on the platform. Yeah, Mikey, that's quite a house you've got there. Now I guess we can go look at mine. Yeah, JJ, let's go. JJ, you used those blocks too? How did- It just happened. It's nothing personal. Oops, forgot to close the hole here. It's done. What's up? What do you think of the outside of the house? It looks classy, JJ. Let me see what's inside. Hmm, I wonder. My house sure looks better on the inside. That's not for you to decide, Mikey. You're right, JJ. Can we say goodbye then? Yeah, go ahead. So long, friends. Don't forget to write in the comments whose house you think turned out better. Like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to click on the bell so as not to miss the new video. Bye-bye.